hard, ain't no halftime. I was stuck in the dark, night sunshine. I say it's a church store. Back then, look, I mean a lot of. Man, down south got his own shit. You know the only thing about down south, bro? They don't got no like, like no nightlife like y'all do up here. Like it ain't shit. It ain't no clubs down there, bro. That what we mean? Like we say they slower than yeah, 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 yeah
he got an uh, expedition. He blasting my music. I'm like, no, nah, that ain't got my song playing. <laughs> what song that was, though? I can't remember. <laughs> you, did, you had a whole bunch of shit like that? No, I'm talking about, like, yeah, this back then. So we used to throw house parties down the street, you yeah. feel me? And, like, when they play the songs in the house party, like, the party going up. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know what? Boy, a nigga probably could play with his music. So, yeah. you know, I can't even tell you what yeah, year that was. I was probably, like... 13, bro, 13. That's crazy. 12, 13 years That's old. That's crazy. Oh. So when, like, what age did you realize that, like, you could do music? Like, you like you knew, I could make some bread off this shit. Um, what song, like, what part of your life did you know that? Like, high school. Well, I knew it. I've been knew it, you feel me? I just ain't know how to get in, like, in them rooms. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in contact with people. So it was like, you know, high school. I was doing my own bookings, like people hollering at me, chat, blah, 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 blah. so shit, 300 in a bottle, boy, I could make that. Rock. Boy, what? <laughs> if you know what you can do with 300 yeah, right. at the time. At that time, yeah, so, at like, that time. Shit, I asked my old girl, buy me some, you know, some forces or some shit. I already got something quick, you know, get her back her bread, and I got me like a little hundred on the side. So, Damn. so I should, I should just start, you know, getting yeah. bigger and bigger. Yeah, most of <laughs> So you was raised, like, yo, your dad was in the house, or it was just you and your mom? Like, how would nah, it was? it was me and my mom, you feel Okay, me? but your old boy was present, though. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? So I stayed with my daddy at yeah. one point in time. Yeah. So it was like back and forth, you feel yeah. me? But mostly with my old girl. Yeah. yeah. So he made, he played a major impact on you. Yeah, yeah. With sports, too? Like, he supported you with sports and everything yeah. like that? Yeah. That's the play. Oh boy, with my cameraman. Damn. Yeah. yeah from mean, from a jet to now? From a jet to to um high school. College he wanted to do it. They was gonna give him the pass, but he he just wanted to vibe. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, but uh, that boy my cameraman. I got all my Optimus pictures from that boy. That's crazy. Yeah, high school too. That's crazy. Yeah. So right now, are you into um like Optimus football and shit like that? Like the, yeah. the little niggas that play right now? Miami Knights, twelve you. Oh, okay. Yeah, them little dogs out there. I got a you, lot of little cousins. Play. You heard of that jit, uh, Lil Rod? Yeah, Lil Rod, gangsta. That boy a gangsta, bro. Yeah, gangsta, man. What, who you play for, the Ravens or something? Yeah. yeah. I hope somebody in there teaching them business. They know, you know, they just yeah. They got that business. nil deal. They just just teach teach them business, man. Yeah, they so so niggas know. know. Man, yeah. That's crazy. So um, now, cause I remember, I remember. I ain't gonna compare it to that, but that's what it is, basically. Um, they took Reggie Bush Heisman because another nigga was, you know, helping them out. At, mm -hmm. And then it's a situation with you where you was making music. But they told you you couldn't use your name to make music. Yeah. So how the fuck you like wiggle your way around that? Um, I don't really know. All I know, you got to be that man before college. Yeah. That's why that NIL came to high school because it's people like they really like got value in high school. Yeah. They got value in little league too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you just gotta be that man. That's crazy. Yeah. They made you um. That's how you came up with Major Nine, or like how that yeah. name Major Nine, like where the f where it came from? Was it cause that situation that they say you can't use that? One of my coaches, one, one of your old coaches? coaches, rest in peace, Coach Corey, or Gwen Cherry. Yeah, yeah, Coach That's Corey gave me that name. So when that time came, you just decided to use that for your artist name and and do whatever you had to do. Um. One of my dogs tell me, like, I'm always rebranding without knowing it. Cause I don't be thinking about rebranding. Like, yeah, you just I was be, Chad, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That was, I used to people calling me Chad, you feel me? Like, yeah. people from the city, people actually know me, you feel me? But once it got a major nine, it's like, okay, it's people from LA, it's people from Vegas, that's major nine. Like, so, like. Most definitely. Yeah. So, um, we done been in the same rooms before. Yeah. You. I don't, I don't think people understand what on a scale from one to 10, what you will rate Miami boys weekend in Tallahassee? I said, well, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I don't think niggas understand. And they canceled it right now. Don't do it no more. Right? No, I didn't do it down here. It's in Miami. Yeah, but it ain't Tallahassee you though, bro. You need to bro. go down south with Miami boys. I'm for Holla You, 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 you think it need to be down south? That bitch go all over Florida. Miami yeah. boys go like a tour. Over. Make it a tour. Shit go. No, nah, I don't know about no tour. No. Nah. No. Nah. That's too much. You, know, it, you just you gotta lock in with too much shit. You feel me? I just feel like you put that bitch in a different city every year. Like 
that shit going, boy, I've been going to blow. Go crazy. Boy. Especially the ones closer, like, college town, people, like, yeah, yeah, with yeah. open land. Like, yeah, who got, yeah. Down south, who got that space, so, yeah. Who got that space, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to lie. I think Miami boys, like, freak me, bro. <laughs> That's Yo, man, I'm freaky. He talking about it like freaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, that's I ain't gonna it. lie. I been be going up. Boy, no, that's no. shit. But if, if you ain't never been to Miami, boys, and you from Miami, boy, you is crazy. That shit go down, shit like, boy. They, they gotta make a movie about that. Bitch. They do. Yeah. They do. I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure they got the footage for that shit. They got a lot of footage. But Miami Boys is the <laughs> shit. Bro. They brought it down here. I, I know they just recently did it, but that shit that shit wasn't that shit wasn't um what it was. Not 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 no Tallahassee shit. Yeah. So um as far as you like doing music and shit, bro. My personal opinion, bro. I talk, I talk very highly about you. Appreciate it. Bro. I think, I, I really think you the, uh, you one of the rawest niggas that ever came out of Miami, bro. That's appreciate just my personal it, opinion, bro. That's you it. raw as fuck, bro. Appreciate it. Um, Thanks. so with that being said, I'm talking about he up there with Trick, uh, Ross, Flow Rider, Pitbull, like this nigga. Cause, cause it's, all lane, though. yeah, yeah, you in your, you, you, you doing your right. shit, you doing your shit, <laughs> you doing your shit, cause it, you make your own beats, you engineer your own music, what made you just start doing that as a whole, bro, like, just like, fuck it, I'm doing everything by myself? Uh, people telling me no. What you mean? Like, shit, nigga telling me no, they ain't like, nah, bro, I ain't feeling that beat, or, nah, bro, like. I don't know, bro. Okay, I understand. You tell me no, like, shit, I'm from Miami, bro. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna do it, like. Yeah. So, niggas telling me no, um, actually being around that, actually, um, you know, like, just understanding, like, a different side, a different side of it, like, you know, understanding engineering at an early age. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I make my own beats at an early age, yeah. like, all this time, I ain't know, like, you can make the most money. Just engineering. Yeah. No, just knowing everything. Oh, knowing everything. Like, like, knowing everything. Knowing everything, knowing everything. You can make the most money, it'll go to yourself. Like, I ain't know that. You feel me? Yeah. I just was doing it. Yeah. So, like. And you ain't even know what you was doing. No. That's crazy. Yeah, I just knew I needed a team, though. I was tired of doing that shit. That shit. you still got to pay for 40 niggas to get in the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga need a team. Nigga need something, boy. Yeah. I'm paying for 40 niggas to get in the club. We getting that bit for free. Bro. Yeah, Ain't yeah. Everybody doing something. Most definitely. So, like, Most yeah. definitely. So, um, how, at the time, you was going to UM. That's when I did that song with you, that Church for Thugs. What, that was your senior year or that was your, like, junior I can't even remember. Probably junior senior. Yeah. You know, probably going into senior. Yeah. Boom! You got drafted to uh to the Browns. At that time, like, bro, how the fuck you was able to balance like friends and you know relationship with friends and just and doing music at the same time? Um, I ain't gonna lie. High school, like high school, college time. Like nigga lost a lot of friends. Yeah. Uh, like hell, yeah. But why though? <coughs> what you what you think? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, most up. Feel me? Lost a lot of friends. Feel me? Lost my cousin. He went in the streets. You feel me? But lost him. Shit. My big cousin who raised me, he did 15. So yeah. I, from middle school all the way up to past the league. That boy mm -hmm. just got out. Oh, he just got out. You feel me? You treat him like a player? Man, what? That's my nigga. Yeah. I pulled up on him in his chest early. Dog. That's real. That's yeah, real. Man. Like, you know, that shit, it played a big toll on, like, everything and just, like, especially how I move. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, I ain't moving around everybody. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. move down there like a ghost. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Damn, boy, you outside by yourself. You yeah. Throw, like, yeah. And bitches I'm, don't know where you at. You would never know where I'm at because I don't keep people in my business. Exactly. So it's like, it was easy to balance everything you yeah. feel me and then just like when i'm home i'm home i'm really like in the city this back in that time so i'm like either at my mama house or <coughs> i don't know i'm either at my mama house or i'm at i'm in core gables at my apartment you yeah. feel me so it's like anywhere i'm at i got a studio yeah so we making music like making music that music kept me Nigga was outside, but I was. I already like, know. I already know. Boy. Yeah, like yeah. stay inside, like yeah. the vibe. So yeah. yeah, you like, do you do you do you ever wake up and say, bro, like I'm him, like for real, like the you you understanding that you changed a lot of people's situation around you, 
like bro your 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 family your friends like you looked up to in a whole nother manner you feel what i'm saying like when did you feel like you realized that 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 you feel me that you that boy shit when i could like actually help people bro yeah if i can help you and they ain't hurting me like shit okay, that's some real, shit. Be straight, some real you shit feel me and then you can help me like you know Knowing people really are like take the chance, like take the time and, you know, jump off the, uh, you know, not saying jump off a bridge, but if I got to learn this shit, let me go jump. You know, I'm, I'm quick to it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I'm taking initiative. So like, you know, like, you know, just knowing people got my back, like yeah, shit like that. Like, that. You feel that's me? Real. So, yeah, that's, that's why I'm like, okay, yeah, boy, like. They got a team. That's yeah. why I tell them, like, boy, nigga, appreciate y'all. Yeah, you the niggas who around you. Do, like, yeah. Like, shit like that. That shit crazy, bro. That is, I think, I think it's hard to get to that point because a lot of niggas don't really get to that point, bro. A lot of niggas pushing, pushing, and a lot of niggas don't get where you at. Like, so everybody know you went to the league, and then it's like, bro, on some player shit, your music, it's like you can vibe, you can live off your music because. Your shit is, bro. I ain't. I told a nigga the other day. I say, bro, you could you could put Major Dodd up there with any one of the niggas from Florida, Kodak, um, Raw Wave, and these major artists. Like, bitches gonna sing your shit back to back. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, wow, you know this shit world, bro, bro. <laughs> this shit worldwide for real. That nah, for real. This nigga really, this nigga really got a fan base, and it's crazy. So. Where you feel like you get, well, <coughs> where do you know you get support from that you didn't expect it from? Like, when you do your analytics and you look at shit, like, where, you, where people really vibe your shit and you've never been over there? A lot of islands. Islands? Shit, overseas. Yeah. Um, bro, there's a lot of states and cities I ain't hit for music, you know, just for football. Like, we finally got that freedom to, like... Definitely yeah, move, move how we want move, to. So yeah. it's a bunch of places I can't name them. Like shit, we did a show in Vegas, and that bitch looked like I was at Miami Boy. You for real, bro? Yeah, we got we got a lot of film, man. Right. Like ZB, we got a <laughs> lot of film, man. G shit, that's real. So you did you ever think about saying fuck it? I'm gonna create my own tour and go on my own tour and put this. You feel what I'm saying? Cause it's like it's like everything is yours now. At this point, everything is yours. You ain't signing nobody, right? No, nah, we touch money to label. That's what I'm saying. Like everything is yours. You ain't never think about it. Like fucking, let me just create my own platform. Let me bring my artists and just do this shit. Shit, we got we got our artists. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? But the tour, nah, I ain't really. You know, man, you we move, we stuffing in little cities and places that we need to be in. You feel me? Just to like, you know. Do a little something. Like, I've been trying to come down south for like a year. You just need a, a place to do it. Just places, you know, just to tap in with the people. You tap in with the right person. We finna put this shit together. That ain't really, you feel me? So <laughs> we gonna put this shit together. We just, we moving over Florida because my, my whole thing is I know my music everywhere. You feel yeah. me? But I gotta really take over the whole Florida. Most definitely. I gotta touch every piece from the keys up. Yeah. So with that being said, um, but that's a lot of major artists from Florida. Do you ever think about doing features with these niggas? Like, bro, you you a you a huncho, like for real. So you got Boston Richie, you got Jimmy, what's his name? Nigga Jim Jimbo World. You it's it's a it's a lot of niggas. You can name you can name them. You ever felt like shit to get my platform bigger? Cause you already big as fuck. Like to make it really global, I need to touch shoulders with these niggas or not. Nah, that ain't what you trying to do. Shit, I always felt like, you know, all artists in Florida supposed to have some like type of song with each other, you feel me? Yeah. But I ain't never feel like it was important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me? Like I feel like every nigga got their own lane. Like, Most definitely. You feel me? You gonna go on your lane, I'm gonna go on my lane, shit. If we cross we cross power, cause okay, yo shit vibing on the level that okay, yeah, that's cool. But like So you know, damn. So you don't you don't think that low key hold niggas back like just having that thought that specific thought like nah it don't hold you back nah I'm okay. staying in your own lane respect like who that ain't hold Prince back yeah you right <laughs> I'm you saying right. you right Prince was that man you yeah. feel me so like yeah. shit it's just you know understanding music you feel yeah me? like I know I understand music to the point that 
I could try to do a song with any nigga from Florida, but everybody can't do that. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's, it's a two-sided thing. Most definitely. So, so uh, I talk... I feel like you and Ball Greasy got the biggest uh, female fan base and coming from Miami. Yeah. Y'all got the females on smash. Did you and him ever really think about doing either like a little EP or even a, even a single together? Oh, uh, shit. We got songs together. Bro. Oh, y'all do? They, they, they just ain't released yet? No, we got songs. I deserve it all. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking uh -huh. about for the female fan. No, nah, he got one on his tape. I can't remember the name of it. We did one, but, like, I don't know. Like, yeah. We done recorded some shit. Most definitely. We done recorded definitely. some shit. I think you and Ball got this shit in the circle, bro. Yeah. Most definitely. I think y'all niggas could really put some shit together and just and, and rock out. Same thing with, uh, with, uh, Mike Smith and Iceberg, I feel like it's about that time. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like it's a small disconnect between niggas and it's time for niggas to just start working together, bro. Because I sit back and I watch, and in the wave that's going on in Florida, I say, bro, Miami started the wave. Like, it's been Berg. It's been Briscoe, regardless of the situation, but niggas been, you feel me? Niggas been doing music. It's been a little dread. It's been Kid Marv, like, and then I watch all these niggas, these niggas flexing, doing all this, but it's not a Miami artist. And I feel like it's supposed to be. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my biggest, and that's why I created this platform. I'm like, bro, Miami really need to get this shit together and just work. I don't know what the answer is, yeah. but I'm trying to be a part of the solution. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the whole purpose of me creating this platform. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah, most place. definitely. Yeah. Most, I appreciate you for coming, bro. Yes, you feel me? Bro, we got a lot of major shit going on. Yes, and I know, I know I'm from down south, and a lot of people from the city say down south ain't my head. And shit like that, but bro, we we trying to nah, <laughs> G, like bro. They do though. They say that. JT said that. JT, I fuck with you. I love your nah, music. Man, yeah, the same police. Yeah, exactly. That shit say by every day. Garbage can not say the same thing by every day. You feel me? So this little shit like that, man. Um, who your um your favorite rapper growing up, bro? My favorite rapper growing up. I had like a handful. Name them. Let me hear them. Um, Trick, Wayne, Jeezy, and Ross. Ross came. Like, Ross number four. Like Ross. Well, it ain't no number. Just middle school, high school. Yeah. yeah. Ross fought with you in high school, right? Yeah. Most definitely. So the the whole situation with that um apple on my eye, that beat. How the fuck he came across that beat? What happened? You sent it to him or? Yeah. Sent it to Sneak. Them boys oh, Sneak, yeah. yeah. They in the studio doing what they doing. That boy heard, I bet, man. Now that bet is one of the biggest songs to me. That he, yeah, yeah, most definitely. Um, and then, and then it's turned up to the max with Drake. How was was that a sample or did, they had to holler at you about that? Like what that was? Yeah, they sent me like an email. A little lady hit me on the email. Yeah, it was like DJ Khaled trying to use a sample of your voice or something like that. Yeah. So that bit. And that shit went through. Mm -hmm. That's the play. Get it right, get it right. right. Y'all niggas did that in the uh in the locker room, man. Right? We was in the dorm. In the dorm? Yeah. What the what y'all was just recording? Nah, it was um my dog Gus. The running back Gus Edwards. Yeah. He from uh Oh, the nigga who played for the Ravens. Yeah, he from up that way. He from up top. Like New York area, so damn, it was like a little jit going viral doing a little funny dance. So we had uh, did a little like Miami version, yeah. That bit had uh, went viral, so yeah. that's the play. You know, I interviewed Dion Bush, yeah, my boy, too. That nigga screaming about you, yeah, yeah I'm fucking with that, right now, boy. Yeah, he screaming about uh Tracy Supreme, yeah. Bro, a lot of y'all niggas, a lot of y'all niggas went to the league, bro. Yeah, just supporting yeah, <clears throat> brothers, man. Yeah, um, Quan, he from down south. Yeah, my nigga right there. Yeah, you yeah. fuck with Quan. Yeah, that's a dog. I fuck with Quan too. Uh, a little pit bull. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That nigga, that nigga there too. That nigga there raw, bro. That nigga there raw. That nigga still supposed to be where he at. You feel me? Um, damn, nigga major now. So getting like when you went to the league, how that. What you you think that shit like? 
Is it is it what everybody think it is or that shit really like crazy? Shit, I bet work. Yeah. It just work. You don't wanna work. You don't wanna yeah. Take your ass out though. Yeah, yeah. I bet work. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. I already know. So um Tracy Supreme. Tr Tracy on um touch money? Nah. Damn, Tracy you. should be on Trust Money, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that boy A and R. I'm that just boy, saying, he on, he on this A and R shit right now. I'm just saying, bro. I'm but just I saying. Like, I feel like the whole, the whole Miami on Touch Money. Most definitely. Growing up, like we had, you know, like we had slip and slide. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But in my like, from my era, I don't know, like. I don't even remember. I probably ran into somebody from Slip and Slide one time. Yeah. Like, I had a little performance in the next. Yeah. And I don't know if it was Ted, though. You feel me? Yeah. I'm just, I'm a shorty in the club. Mm -hmm. Like, this round them early time, like, I was performing in a strip club. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, like, we had that. But, like, when it came to me, like, just from, I can see high school on up, bro. I done helped so many people with Nah, music. you did, bro. You feel me? You like, did. I done did songs with everybody. Like, yeah, yeah. Even if I ain't do, like, recently, I ain't doing the same shit I was doing. It's like, bro, I done did music, help people. Like, it's like, I feel like I don't put it on me. I put it on Touch Money. So, like, yeah. Touch Money, the biggest label that I Most definitely, did. most definitely. So, what, as far as you having your label, what, what what's your goals, like, in the next five years with your, with your artists? Um, basically, shit, we working, bro. I don't really like place no goal on. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. We just learning yeah. and working at the same time. You know, like basically, Bella Flip. Mm -hmm. They like they take they pay attention to what I'm doing. You feel yeah. me? And they pay and attention they just to what I'm learning. You feel me? <clears throat> you know, we ain't, we ain't hiding no knowledge from each other. Yeah, most definitely like, teaching like, nigga everything. Touch, we, yeah. You know, with publishing and anybody, you feel me? Like they understand what's going on. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. And they keep up. They keep all this shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like that's, that's shit, real. Though. Feel me? It's that's just, real. I'm opening my resources. I'm making sure they straight. Cause you feel me? Like, like I say, ain't nobody do that for us. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like me, even me working with you, my yeah. boy. Niggas want to come in down they south want, or dealing with niggas from nah, down south they cause want. they felt how they felt. You yeah. feel me? Like, yeah. where I'm from, nigga, I, we probably got pressure with our neighbor down the street. Mm -hmm. But shit, they ain't gonna stop us from networking. You feel yeah. me? Like moving yeah. around. So like, you know. That's just like the mindset, you feel me? That's Miami niggas mindset, bro. Yeah. A lot of niggas just need to start working more together. But you again, yeah. you helped a lot of niggas get where they at, bro. Like mm. it's countless artists from Miami that got major nine on this shit. Like this nigga for sure. And and if he ain't on your shit, he made the beat. And if he ain't on the beat, he on the eyelid. Like you feel <laughs> no G, bro. Like bro, you when when you got on that song, when you got on that song, with me, I I was like, I'm low key like. Starstruck. I'm like, boy, I just started. I came home from prison. Nigga, I'm working. A nigga from the city. Well, he ain't from the city. From uh, I think he from Carroll City. Bad guy. Mm -hmm. He came and grabbed me. He like, bro, I'm finna put you in the room with the niggas that that you need. Psh. Nigga, this nigga put me in the room with Major Now. I'm like, what the fuck going on, bro? This nigga made a beat in my face. Like, nigga playing instruments. Like, bro, you hear this shit? I'm like, what the fuck, man? It ain't no way this nigga playing the piano, bro. <laughs> and folk in that bit too. So I was like, damn, this shit so crazy to me. And again, you you know, you gave me an opportunity, and not just me, a lot of other niggas got that opportunity. Um Again, I'ma say, I'ma say this again, bro. Miami artists need to work with each other more, bro. Cause it's so much talent down here bro and niggas really need to take advantage of this shit it's like we in a place that everybody come to but we ain't capitalizing off of it and i told a nigga ain't like what i said i kept a g i say nigga trick don't get treated like little baby down here and this is a fact little baby come down here they treat him like a god bro a nigga go to the club one of the niggas from down here they oh that's just you feel what i'm saying and i don't like that shit bro we deserve more bro we really do so Again, this the that's the reason why I started building this um this podcast. And it ain't just for Miami niggas. Well, my my main thing is Miami niggas gotta get that shine, but it's for Florida, bro. It's for Florida. Because we created the standard of music. It bro, before us it was nothing. 
Miami started music down here. You could go back from years and years and years. It wasn't no nigga from Fort Myers. It wasn't no nigga from Palm Beach. It wasn't no nigga. It was Miami. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what a nigga trying to get to. So, um, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Let me get. I'm. I'm freestyle. Let me get to the questions though. Um, your writing process. You don't really write like that, right? Um, I probably write the first four bars, and then you freestyle the rest. Or shit, I freestyle sometimes. Like it's depending on the beat, depending on the vibe. Mm hmm. So as at like at this time. Who you listening to right now? Like who you vibe with, bro? Like you uh, just you just by yourself? Listen to us. Play some of my shit. For play Bella shit. For the make sure I play flip shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I told Flip, I told Flip, I ain't know if he knew fool, but I say, bro, you sound like E Class. The nigga uh who be on your songs, bro. Class. Yes. Yeah, we gonna play class. Bro, I, I, I say hey, what it, nah, they can't sound it like class voice is different. No, it's the same vibe though. Oh, we get, that's lunch, that's free lunch. You that's feel what I'm saying? Going through the years. That shit, that shit yeah. slide though. That shit's like the only one could do it right. You know, is rest in peace, Quizzy. I mean, I wish, I wish my boy was here. Like, that's somebody who the world should have known. Yeah, know so who the world. Like these, these people I lost. They always yeah. tell me, you feel yeah. me? Like, like if we could still be doing music, like with people I did it in the garage with. Shit, Flip was at my mama house. We was on shit. What, forty fourth, sixty six? All the, like, shit. We just. Nigga, I was always home doing music. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. Dogs, that shit kept a lot of my dogs out the streets yeah. too. You feel me? And yeah. then once I like, once I went to college and like I was away, you feel me? Like my dog was down left or right. Yeah, and it was like damn, bro. Like nigga, I had kind of like a safe haven for me. Mm -hmm. bro, so, yeah. bro. So, so um, in the midst of you like being away and shit, like in college and shit, you feel like that shit somewhat saved you? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like shit, before I even like. You know, I committed to the U, but before I actually went to college, boy, I was praying like, God, just let him get to college, cause boy, nigga on high side. Like, yeah. Shit, it was, in my mind, you know, whatever, you know, nigga, I'm living with my mama, so whatever going on in the house, boy, I feel like I'm better outside most of the time. Yeah, so most whatever, definitely. You most know, definitely. nigga, I just was outside, so, you know, once we came in the house, we were making music, like, that shit, I'd be up all night making music. My old girl, like, she had a mindset like, long as I'm home, she ain't gonna stay up. Yeah, yeah. You feel long me? as you home. Yeah, yeah, long as I'm home. You know, okay. but if I'm gone, she gonna be yeah, up she all up night. Yeah, she trying to yeah figure out what's up. Like, with where you. you at though? But she wasn't like blowing me up type shit. She yeah. was just like making sure the nigga got to yeah, the real. Most so, definitely. Like, yeah. Most definitely. So um, when it comes to females, man, yeah. you like. Do you when you when you do decide to fuck with a female? Is this somebody that you fuck with before, or it be some new? Sh I'm I'm saying on some like long term shit though. Like do like is it new shit or is some shit that you knew from school or something like that? Shit, whatever they do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I'm more focused on something else. Man. You feel me? Like, I, feel I, I got family at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got kids and shit. Yeah, I got twins, bro. Damn, bro. You know How old are you? One. Damn, so you just my had dog, I got a boy and a girl. You I, oh my God. How is that? Like dealing with both of them, that's two different personalities. Yeah, but shit, they gangsters though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, yeah. they, they gangsters. My son, that boy crazy. And my daughter, she like a little dramatic, but <laughs> you know, she be vibing. Though, so. I'll tell you. So you, you feel like your old boy, like he helped you, like as of right now, you being a father, he helped you be more patient with just kids because he was patient with you? Nah. Nah. My old girl was the one who kind of like helped me be patient. You feel me? Yeah. So one more man was snappy. She yeah. Curse your ass out. Yeah. So I had to like, but she knew how to like take care of like yeah, children because yeah, yeah. she was a daycare director. So like, you feel me? Like she taught me everything about the jit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, so mm -hmm. taking care of them like, it's easy as hell. Having patience, I'd be like, "Boy, I want to snap on them." But yeah, but you, yeah, they kids, they kids. Yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think a man, if they never experienced that, 
like literally being home with your kids, like, bro, it's not a problem. <laughs> like, oh, it's nah, literally no, not no, a no. problem. That's why I got a stool out of the house. I don't really like. Yeah. I tell the nigga just send me some. Like, yeah. I don't even want to go to the studio for real. Yeah, so, most definitely. Yeah, I be home. Like, they around that. They around the music. You yeah. Know? They home and just being home with them, like. That's another reason, like, you feel me, like, even playing football, like, I don't think I would have had children if I was playing football. Oh, you would have been more focused on that, on playing ball? Yeah, it would have it been too much time, you know, that's like six months out of the year. You feel me? It's really 12 months if you if you put that time in, but, like, you with them six months out. Yeah, most definitely. So, um, um, I talked to Dion Bush, like I said, I interviewed him, um, and I told him, I'm like, damn, y'all got um, Mario Cristobal over there at the U right now. If you, if if Chris Ball was over there when y'all was over there, because he was like, bro, y'all had some gangsters on y'all team. Mm. What you think the difference is now compared to when y'all boys was balling? I don't know. I ain't never have him as a coach. He was a recruiter for me. Oh, okay. He okay. was recruiting me to, um, I think he was recruiting me to Bama. Oh, you was at the time. Damn, yeah. you could have went to Bama? Yeah, that was one of my top schools. Damn. I was going to go down. D.N.? Yeah, DN linebacker. That was when it was just bringing out like the rover really turns. You would bring like an outside linebacker, that DN dropping type shit. Damn, bro, that is fucking nuts. You think that you gonna be good this year? Shit, I don't know, bro. Like, <laughs> it's on them. You feel me? Like I, I don't been in them shoes before, so um, you know I can't never be on uh, the fan side and say, "Oh, I think this, I think that." But I'm sure these just gotta work. You yeah, most like, definitely. It's gonna come if shit going right. How it post to you feel me right now? Shit, yeah, they gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, gonna be great. You feel me? So yeah. yo. you um, you had a favorite team growing up, like NFL. NFL, uh, the Steelers were my favorite team. Then it changed to the Ravens. You like the Ravens right now? Yeah, I've been, I've seen shit, since damn near in the high school. Yeah. yeah. Who, what, Flacco? Yeah, I was fucking with the Ravens. Probably before that, you remember that shit, you had Ed Reed playing for Yeah. Reed, Ray yeah. Lewis. Ray Lewis. Come yeah. on now, we got running backs and all. Bro, niggas want to beat my ass because I changed my team, bro. Oh, no, nah, like see, I ain't changing, I ain't changing no you team. You did change your team, though. I you was said. a shorty. I just like the Steeler because I like hard no for, I like defense. Okay, okay, bro. okay, so okay, like, okay, okay. Even basketball, like the yeah. Pistons was my favorite team. Yeah. Oh, that was when them niggas was whooping niggas ass. They were yeah. being there, yeah. you feel me? <laughs> like, that was my, my favorite team. Team. I'm my favorite team, the Lakers, bro. I, yeah. I went out with Kobe. I'm going to go out with my boy. Most definitely. Yeah. That's real, though. That's real. I ain't going to lie. I liked the coach when I was growing up. Them niggas was gangsters nah, as fuck. I ain't going that far. What? Yeah, well. You sleep. Edwin James, nah, Dallas Kobe. Clark, nah. Brandon Stokely, nah, see you Peyton Manning. Man. Bro, I'm only 28, buddy. Bro. That's what I'm saying. That was my team. Like, like I would have been a Dolphin fan if they ain't did Ricky. Like, nah, look. Oh, okay. Like, boy, I love Ricky. Man. Ricky was gangster. That, that was Ricky one of my gangster. favorite running backs. So, what you, um, I'm going to ask you a question, bro. I'm just on some real shit. You would take Percy Harvin or Devin Hester? Devin Hester. Devin Hester? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you another one. <laughs> <laughs> that was too easy, bro. That was too easy. Reggie Bush or Adrian Peterson? In college, though. Reggie Bush. Reggie was that boy, man. Niggas be getting that shit twisted. I think he was the best college player ever. <laughs> that nigga, that was gangster. Reggie Bush. Fuck. He was different, man. Mm, it's definitely. Um. So when you when you when you stepped away from the league, what was like? Was it a decision of yours, or you like what was it? Just a decision of mine. Yeah, you ain't wanna. Like I said. Go make some money off music, feel me? I don't want it to be too late, you feel me? Yeah. And then it was another thing like, shit, if I'm making this much off of music, and I ain't got to kill myself trying to make this much or wait on them to give me a check. I'm like, oh, hell, nah, I'm Yeah, straight. that check come every month with that music, boy. That shit come, <clears throat> that bitch just going. That bitch been rolling over since high school, in the high school, college. So That's crazy. So just working. With the, with the bread that you was making, what, you was just saving it or you was just like, you um, like use it whenever you needed it? Oh, uh, shit. I wasn't really touching it because I ain't no shit what the fuck to do. Yeah. You feel me? So once I got in the league in 2018 hit, 
I really started seeing bread. I was making shit down at the same amount of money. I was making from the league at the same time. So I was like, damn, but Yeah. So it was just, you know. Yeah, most definitely. So you got um you got future projects with your music? Yeah, we trying to we we working on Florida Water. That's 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 something I wanna do. No major artists? You any collabs? You know, I don't really be caring about major artists. Uh, you gotta rock out, man. You know, I'm rocking out, you feel me? I say my lane. I don't, <laughs> I feel really, you, I don't I feel give you. a fuck about no major artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you just real, do your own shit. Excuse my language, yeah. but like, you know, that shit don't make, it don't make or break an artist, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I don't want your fans because your fans probably already my fans. You feel me? That's real enough. Shit, I make music for every type of, you know, situation, every feeling, you feel me? So it's like, you know, another artist ain't gonna bring nobody. They yeah. listen to that shit. You probably put some bullshit on my shit too. Well, so like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really care for it. It ain't it was never it was never a big thing for yeah. me, bro. So um I mean you getting booked all over Florida and shit like that. What what's your the best experience that you had like with a fan base? Like from what part of Florida? I was about to say out of town, but shit. Oh, out of town was was better than Florida? Yeah. What area? I just told you Vegas twice. Damn. Well, we had a rooftop, then we had some other shit inside a building, but them people that I was, I bet were jumping. That's crazy, bro. We I had some shit like that. Central Florida, though. In Florida, like Central Florida, fuck with a nigga head. Yeah. Bro. Like what, Orlando or like uh, Fort Pitt? Central Kid? Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Central Florida. Okay. That shit go up, so. We done did shit like different shit all through the you feel me? So most definitely. Yeah. Where we at with it, man? Hold on. Mm -hmm. What you doing, bro? Yo, what we looking like? Mm. What time it is? Look at that little bro. Hey, bro. No, man. Look at me. No. Y'all went in? Nah, not right yeah. now. Nah, shit, I'm saying. Dice had. Dice told me to go. Who is Dice? No, he said Dice. Oh. Dice high. Both of y'all must be high. <laughs> 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 <I> cook. <laughs> so look, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, um, what advice you would give upcoming artists coming out of Miami, bro? Call it work, network, you feel me, and line of business. Yeah. But that's it, shit. Simple. Just knowing a little certain shit. Yeah, work. Shit, make sure you're working on your shit. Network, get out there. Top yeah. in with people. Shit, you knew me before this interview, you feel me? We done definitely locked in there music. Yeah. Shit, like, you know that that make it more, you feel me? Yeah. Like, Easier for a nigga to connect. Yeah, connect in different parts, you yeah. feel me? Like, that's understanding right. the people, you feel me? Like, you know, that's the networking part. And then learning the business, yeah. you know, just understanding, okay, boy, we both bring us on to the table. Yeah. Let's exactly. see how we can get that money out of it. Mm -hmm. so, That's yeah. real there. That. That's real. So, um, <clears throat> I don't even fucking know. <laughs> the next, the next thing that you trying to do, you dropping an album. You say you finna drop an album? We gonna, we, probably this year. This year? No time frame on it? Nah. We getting, we getting ready for Flip and Bella. They dropping it. Yeah, they one, drop. So. Flip drop on the 27th. Bella, Bella drop on the 15th? 13th. 13th. They dropping yeah. this month. That's what we were about, you feel me? We getting they shit out, you feel me? Definitely getting it to the people. And then Most shit, definitely. working on our shit. Working on the Touch Money picnic. Okay. Do that, you okay. Like, I be seeing um around February you be having a little concert, bro. Yeah, we do. That's your that's your own little shit. Like that's your stamp right there. Yeah, we did. We you know we took over. And then people be asking for the dates. We kind of just left it alone because we we find that we can make our own bread. Yeah, y'all most definitely can. I like that white toes too. That shit hard as fuck. Appreciate that. That shit hard. I yes. listen to that shit. Appreciate it. Um. Um, everybody speak highly of you, but she be. I just oh, like, dog. I, yeah, I interviewed him. He was like, bro, major now, hard as fuck. Uh, um, Mike Smith, he oh, like, bro, man. major now, hard as fuck. Man, Smith got some shit. We probably got one of the hardest songs. You for real? What? Yeah. It ain't out yet. No, nah, I'm dropping on the take. Oh, okay, that's real. That's real. Yeah, yeah. Dread on that. Okay, yeah. I fuck with Dread. I'm, 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 I'm trying to. I want to interview yeah. Dread, man. I'm gonna play it for you. I got you. Yeah, play that shit for me. Um, 
Trick, trick say you hard as fuck too. Trick that's say, right. trick gave, gave you the highest regards, bro. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's so. That boy, you know, getting that from him, that, that shit, that's our Jay-Z, that's yeah. our yeah. shit, whoever they want to compare, you feel me? Most definitely. Yeah, shit, Most I definitely. need to get one with him. Yeah, I yeah. don't know, Chick don't want to get in the booth with me, bro. Bro, you got to understand, it's a different generation. You got to get him something where he can vibe with, bro. Yeah, I, bro, I could, I could, boy, I could get Trick a whole album. Yeah. Trick, I'll get Trick a whole album. That's and real. The whole city going to be, boy, I fuck with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I ain't need, bro, I'm from the city. I ain't need out of town, niggas, for real. Yeah. Bro, for real. Like, That's real, though. You know, like, when you study music for a long time, like, the way I study music as a producer, like, I study the artist, bro. Like giving giving Ross a beat, like I know this beat for his voice. That's real. Giving Kodak a beat, I know this beat. Like yeah. even the beat we made for yeah, you, you that feel shit, me? Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, you so cut up, man. Shit, look at as a get a trick of a good little yeah, nine, yeah, ten yeah, song yeah, with yeah, that yeah. bitch gonna be like, rock oh, yeah, I needed this yeah, trick, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. yeah. I just I don't know, trick don't wanna get in there, bro. Man, trick, trick what the fuck with you? Trick be joking, dog. Nigga called Trick. This probably some years ago, I called Trick. Chit talk about, man, you in the studio? I said, yeah, bro, I'm working. He talk about, man, don't get no studio stomach. I said, what that is? <laughs> <laughs> he talk about, you sitting in that bitch all day eating and rapping. You ain't doing shit. You ain't doing shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, you tripping, man. Trick yeah. gonna talk his shit, boy. He talk about don't get no studio stomach. He done got his studio stomach. <laughs> Trick pregnant right sitting now. Sitting in the studio, though, but I'm telling this nigga, like, bro, we need to get in here. I'm, I work out every day. I'm so right now. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, we can get him up. That's crazy, man. Uh, I know Berg been gone. Yeah. I hope that per uh, I know Bird coming. I don't even hope. I know Bird coming back. He coming with it. Y'all, you and Bird got some shit. Uh, me and Bird ain't do a song in a minute since. Uh, what stick drill or some shit? shit? Investments. Investments. Yeah, my song investments. But we 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 got some we got some other shit we had after that. Yeah. That's another song we got. Shit is me. Damn, it's me. Ball greasy. Bird and E class yeah. finishing the song. All that's on one song. That's dope as fuck. I wanna see you and um Greasy do a whole album together, but you know, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> but that should be gangsta as fuck, especially for these females out here listening. But yeah, man. I'm a I'm a, I'm gonna wrap this up right here. It's the Mod sure. Life Podcast. You got major down. I appreciate you for coming, yes, dog. Sir. I really appreciate it. Appreciate Shout out to Flipper and Bella, man. Talk we got more me. episodes coming. Mm. Touch money.